guys and welcome back to repair and resell in today's video i'm gonna show you how to uh, test uh, an xbox one controller in fact i'm gonna show you uh, three ways to do it uh, my favorite one is the last one but the other two can do the job if you cannot access uh, the third one so uh, if we start the first one is uh, pretty simple um, in fact the first one uh, is similar to the one I already show you uh, for the PS4 controller. In order to do it, uh, what you will need to do is that you will need to uh, click on this uh, the Windows menu. Then you will go in your device and printer. It should not be long. Uh, while wa waiting for this, we're going to plug in our controller. I forget to attach my USB wire, it's not going to be long. Well, let's go, just like this. Uh, your controller should light up. Also, you should feel it vibrate. It's a way to test the uh, vibration. And you also see that the LED light is working. Now, in order to test it fully, you will uh, right click on the, the icon of your controller and you will click on this button. You will see this menu that will open and then you click on property and it will open the testing device. Now I will put it here just to be sure that you see it correctly. And now you can try uh, every button that you like and it should light up on the screen just like you see here. Then the trigger, this is the left trigger, the right trigger. They put it, uh, they put it on, the same, uh, on the same axis. And we can try the other button joystick and finally the d-pad what I think is uh, a bit uh, less nice with this tester is that it's not taking into account the dead zone of the joystick so it always seems like the joystick are a bit uh, off center so it might be hard to know uh, if your controller is drifting but this one is not drifting and it, the, the joystick still appear to be a bit off center I don't know if you can see it too on the screen but for me it's obvious if I was using a PS4 controller uh, like this on the on this testing device uh, I would uh, not uh, resell it because it will be faulty but for the Xbox One one uh, it's working fine when you plug it into a uh, Xbox One so it, even if it's a, a still a bit off center, it it can work fine. For the other method, uh, I I actually find uh, this method um, by accident. I was uh, looking uh, on uh, Google for a specific testing device, and I fall on this one. It's actually it's actually called the HTM. L5 gamepad tester so when you enter it on Google and press enter it's the first link that you will see it should not take long and as soon as you click a button on your controller it should detect it let's see if it's working yeah here we go uh, it's actually <laughs> listing it as a Xbox 360 controller but uh, as you can see just by the look of it uh, you know that it's an Xbox One controller uh, you can test the input uh, I think this is B0 yes so when the input is in you will see a 1 instead of a 0 just like this and you can test all the trigger as you see trigger you as their um, analog function uh, there is a percentage associated to it so if you press them fully in it will be one if you press it off it will be uh, 50 same thing for the other one the other button and the joystick also mm, just like this so these are working perfectly fine uh, as you can see uh, they're still off center a bit uh, unfortunately with this uh, gamepad tester we cannot know what is the dead zone of these controller but as you can see they're really close to the center so it is not enough for them to be drifting and i will show you that it's working perfectly fine with the 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 third way to test your controller 
The last thing I wanted to show you is that you can also test uh, the vibration in your controller. All you have to do is to click on test vibration just here and you still feel your controller vibrate. And this is pretty nice because the only one that I uh, see that uh, you can uh, test the vibration on your computer that is free and that you don't need to install it on your computer. So I, I think that was uh, pretty nice. I will leave a link uh, to this website in the description below if you want to try it on your own. In order to use uh, the last method, you will either need to have an Xbox One or a Windows computer with the Windows 10 on it. Um, uh, as I don't have a Windows 10 on my computer, I will use uh, the Xbox One that is uh, randomly powering powering it, powering off that you see on the channel. I hope that I will have the time to see you to show you everything before it turns off. So in order to do so, you need to install the game, game controller tester app that you can find on the Microsoft Store. I will uh, open the game controller tester right now. We will go with the new interface. And we can, if you want to test the vibration, you need to go in the, oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm in the ad. Don't know how I get there. Okay. So uh, you, if you want to test vibration, you need to go in the test option. You need to uh, to click on the vibration. And now that it's check-in, uh, you will be able to test the vibration while you're testing the controller. In fact, it will test the vibration when you are uh, testing the trigger. So now we'll start uh, testing with the uh, controller number one. Here we go. So uh, as it is directly plugged in in the Xbox, this is why uh, you don't see uh, the battery. So now we're gonna test, start to test uh, some functionalities. For example, the A button. I already uh, I click on a hat, I think. Usually it's uh, I'm better than this. Sorry. Oh, do you want some food for your dogs? <laughs> I'm not used with the Xbox One. We're gonna go back in the game controller testers. Sorry for that. I think we can test it now. Okay, I don't know why the hat is so annoying. Usually I, I never had problem with this, but I'm gonna test the other uh, the other button, the X, the B button, the Y button, the right button, same thing for the left one. You can test everything, the D-pad, and when you use the trigger, you should feel your controller vibrate. I'm feeling it right now. Same thing for the other one, and you will see that there is different vibration because there is, I think, like four different rumble motor on the Xbox One controller. We can test the joystick. As you see, the there is uh, no drift on them, and they center perfectly, unlike we see on the other uh, testing device. Same thing for this one. Just like this. So this is the last way to uh, to test your controller. I hope that you enjoyed this video and have a nice day.